I just had with the Prime Minister, and then I'd be happy to take a couple of questions. Uh, we had an excellent and comprehensive meeting, and I started by uh, congratulating the Prime Minister on his election victory on the majority that his party formed uh, on behalf of the United States and, and Secretary Clinton. Uh, I noted how impressed we are with Georgia's democratic development, um, showing that you could have a free and fair and transparent election, and a democratic and peaceful transfer of power is a huge step for this country, uh, and in some ways a model for uh, the region and beyond. Uh, and I made it a point to underscore how supportive we are of that process. Uh, the Prime Minister stressed uh, Georgia's interest and his interest in continued good relations with the United States, which is certainly a priority that we share. Um, and I was able to stress to him how committed the United States is and will remain uh, in terms of our support for Georgia, for its sovereignty and territorial integrity. Uh, for its economic development, which is really, truly uh, impressive, and for the democratic transition that uh, is ongoing. Uh, I also stressed how important it uh, is and will continue to be for the two sides to work together. Uh, we know it's not easy after a bitter election campaign. We just had a, an election campaign in the United States as well, you may have noticed. Uh, it's not always easy to work with your political opponents, but it's essential for a democracy to thrive. Uh, and in that context, I stressed, uh, we talked about the issue of uh, arrests and detention, which I know is a lot in the media today, and I stressed how critically important it is for the process to be absolutely transparent uh, with due process. Uh, everybody uh, wants to see the rule of law uh, implemented and anybody who has committed a crime to be held accountable. Uh, but at the same time, it's essential to avoid any perception or reality of selective prosecutions. And that was a point that I, uh, I stressed because I think it's important for Georgia's reputation in the world and its path towards zero Atlantic institutions that we, again, strongly support. Uh, finally, let me note how much I expressed appreciation for Georgia's contribution in Afghanistan. Uh, I know it has uh, required great sacrifices from this country and its troops, but it's something that the United States is deeply grateful for uh, in the name of our common interests and our friendship. So uh, that's the essence of our meeting, and I'd be happy to take every couple of questions. How could you imagine this cohabitation between Saakashvili's power and even the Shuri? Uh, because this time we see some detentions and parliamentary minority claims that this is political process. Uh, indeed, and that's what we're watching very uh, closely. Uh, first, I would note there have been some positive signs. I mean, the simple fact of uh, President Saakashvili uh, acknowledging the result of the election, uh, accepting that the voters had spoken and the other side won, and uh, supporting that peaceful democratic transition is already a, a, a positive step, and we welcome the magnanimous way in which he recognized the election results. But we've also seen some positive signs from Prime Minister Ivanishvili, I believe as recently as yesterday, saying that he plans to work with President Saakashvili, respects that the Constitution leaves the President in place, and at least for now, you have a Prime Minister and a government and a pre President of different political orientations. So already those are positive steps. But at the same time, naturally there are tensions. Uh, that's inevitable after a hard-fought uh, political campaign. We're just stressing to both sides how important it is not to let those, ten not to let those tensions stand in the way of uh, rule of law, constitutional authority, and due process. In, in, in our favor, if you will, is the fact that I think both sides have Georgia's interests at heart. Uh, and they both know that uh, it's not in their interest, either as parties or individuals or the country, uh, to let this turn into uh, uh, a real fight in acts of political retributions and accusations. And that's what I would you know, appeal to both sides, to keep that in mind. The world is watching, the international community is watching. Um, uh, the United States certainly feels that for Georgia to continue down the path of being a stable, prosperous country integrated into the West, uh, it needs to allow this peaceful democratic transition to move forward. Mr. Gordon, Reuters News Agency, uh, your European colleagues, diplomats in Europe, made quite strong statements about these arrests in Georgia. Uh, do the United States share this concern? I mean, you talk a lot about this right now, but, but still, are you ready to make it well? That strong statements to that extent, uh, and also how would you see the balance uh, in foreign policy between 
relations of Georgia with the United States and Russia? Uh, how would you assess that? Well, in the first, I think I was pretty clear myself, and I was clear with the Prime Minister that, uh, once again, nobody uh, wants to see an absence of rule of law. And if people are guilty of crimes, uh, those crimes should be investigated and people should be held accountable. And I haven't found anyone I've met with in Georgia so far, and I've met with people from both sides that disagrees with that. But I was equally clear uh, that in that context, it is absolutely critical to be scrupulous in both the reality and the perception of how this process is working. If it looks like, or it is, designed solely to go after political uh, adversaries, uh, or it's not done in a transparent way, then the whole country will pay a price. And so that was my message to the Prime Minister. Everybody wants to see uh, criminals prosecuted, but it needs to be done in a, in, a, in a way that fully acknowledges the needs of due process and transparency, and that's what we hope to see from Georgia moving forward. In terms of relations with the United States, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we've been encouraged by the first indications coming out of the new government uh, where, where that's concerned. The Prime Minister is certainly clear with me that he wants to see the United States-Georgia relationship remain very strong, which it is. He's reiterated his interest in continuing to pursue uh, NATO membership and integration into the, into the West and to sustaining Georgia's free market economy. Um, and uh, we will uh, look forward uh, to welcoming him in Washington to, to con continue the dialogue. Our relations are, are strong with this government. When will be the visit? Uh, we'll announce it when we have something to announce. Will you meet Mr. Well, Georgian President? Do you I do expect to meet him. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.